my YouTube story and how I hit 1,000 subscribers here in YouTube coming up. Okay, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose Vela. If you don't know me, I am a music producer. I do my own music, teaching, tutorial, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribe and hit the like and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I am celebrating here 1,000 subscribers and uh, 75,000 views here on my channel. So it's a my store and I'm gonna be sharing my story. And I'm gonna take this time to uh, put some camera tip, how I did it, and much more. So I'm gonna do a series of videos because there's a lot. Uh, how can we do it in a phone? How can we do it in a camera? And much more. So, and some tips. So stay tuned. This is gonna be a series. I don't know, three, four, five videos. So people are asking. So I'm gonna try to do my best to deliver. And my story here is a little longer. I'm going to try to make it shorter, but this one will be a little long. So I hope you stay tuned. <laughs> First of all, thank you for all your support, for your feedback, for all your life, for all your comments, sharing with others and all your love and much more because all of that count because without you, we cannot do anything. So if you don't share, if you don't like, if you don't comment, we cannot do anything because then YouTube is not going to promote those videos. So with your help, we can get uh, and reach more people. So thank you so much. One key here before I start my story is that you need to deliver value. Whatever it is that you do, I am in music. So whatever you do, find your niche, find your, your area, and then you have to deliver value. That's how you're going to be successful in this platform because people are looking for answers so if you're delivering value then people will uh, start recognize you and they will like your content okay so that's taking out of the way so let's start with my story back in 2005 my son was born and I wanted to be part of this process. Never before I have a camera or I had the privilege to own a camera. I didn't want it. So I was, that was not my area. My area is in music. But in this time, it's a special celebration because my song is now in this earth. And I want to be part of his journey and I want to be recording everything all the monks all the process how it's getting bigger with picture so i bought a simple point and shoot camera 2005 it's not this one <laughs> it was ordered and i discovered it had video capability to record and it was wow i can record a couple of minutes or seconds or you know or longer and I started to record and see the process month and month and I start like documenting and talking. I was not in the camera because I was taking my, my baby, but I was listening to my voice. I was narrating and all of this, I was doing it in English <laughs> and some in Spanish too. But I was practicing. I was getting, you know, used to, to hear my voice and it was so weird. But that's the beginning, because if I don't say that, I was thinking how I did study in camera. It was back then, because then I was reading the manual of the camera, the different settings, and start like getting into that area. Not too in depth, but at least I get into the manual and read the manual and get the basic, okay? So if you are want to learn, you need to get and get the basic of this. Moving forward to 2011, I did a song and I did my first video on YouTube. In this time, just took pictures and put my music in the background. And that was my first YouTube video. That was my starting in YouTube. But I received some 
bad comment and critic and I was like devastated and that was it that was over end of my journey <laughs> then 2014 is coming with a class because I also am a music teacher I had to take this technology class and the teacher said in this class you will have to do videos and you will have to be in camera and make tutorials for your student and I was like wow before I was now in the in the shot I was just talking but I think that was a preparation this time now I had to ask for someone to record me and do my tutorial for my surprise it was not too bad and I received good comments from the other people and I was like maybe I can do this stuff who knows but I maintain my channel private because I was so afraid to get my stuff out to the public because of my previous uh, <laughs> comments I went like this for four long years and my students were like hey you can do more videos you can start doing more YouTube you can and I knew something is is like rising inside of me like I can do more I can maybe start reaching more people you know with their yearning and everything that you as experience now you can share with people what is working what is not working I decided let's let, let's let's check it out and do it but I was doing just with cheap camera with phone so I was like seeing my videos and they were bad looking the audio was bad the scene was but everything was pretty much you know because we we're learning so I decided I need to start learning more get more into the deep of learning the cameras and buying a couple of camera you know maybe the GoPro and then the real camera with the set webcam and get deep and understand you know how can we do this and I'm gonna explain that in the others video fast forward then before I went public on YouTube I started to test on Facebook because it's more like friendly more like if, if people like it they like it if people don't like it they ignore you so <laughs> you don't receive you know bad coming well you can but in this time with because you're with your friend it's more friendly okay so and they don't know you hey that video is bad <laughs> they just ignore you so I started to test the waters there did a couple of uh, you know camera I did a lot of tests it took me forever to to start like what the lighting what well, what is the camera setting it is it, a lot but don't worry I'm gonna share my tip and you're gonna get some of those okay so you can start after receiving a couple of feedback in, in Facebook and, and starting to see that maybe this is a possibility finally in 2018 I went public on YouTube uh, doing what I was learning in, in Facebook and before you know this a lot of preparation and making my channel finally public to everyone before it was private because I was afraid people will see my videos and they you know will be I was supposed to bad coming I then discovered no one will see my videos no one will comment no one will like why I don't have followers I don't have subscribers I don't have a fan base that they can watch those videos and then I discovered wow then I have to study YouTube I have to then get deeper how this work how this is gonna be possible then if I am gonna be making videos people need to see it but how is gonna be possible I started like thinking maybe if I do a series of video like are right now I'm gonna do a, a series you know videos that are continuing people see one video and then they can see like oh there's more videos so I can see the part two part three and part four 
So that's a good point. Start with a series of videos because then you can have more momentum. If people, if people find you one video, then they can see the other video and so on. I did that. Your videos will not be discovered unless people see them, get a lot of views, they like, they comment, then if that happens, YouTube will promote those videos. If people don't see it, then YouTube is not going to do anything. They're going to be that, they're going to be buried because you need to prove to the platform that those videos are good. So when YouTube see that people see the video, then they will promote it. That's why marketing is so important. Okay. So content is king. Content is pretty important, but without marketing, then it's not going to do much. Okay. So you need to have both the content. It has to be good. And the marketing, you need to move those videos. You need to share with all your friends. You have to reach them by email, by messenger, by whatever you're going to use. And you have to then tell them to give you feedback and so they can see the video and then the video can be uh, seen in YouTube as a watch time and getting momentum. I started that series, a longer series, and this time I recommend to do something that you can do with your eyes closed because you're going to be starting out. You need to do something fast and easy. 3B, be fun, be quick and be done. Okay. Do it fast, do it quick and done. Don't take longer because at first you need to engage the people and say like, now it's done. Okay. See you next time. And they want to be what? I want more Then you know, next time they can see you. But if you're too long, they're going to be bored and they're going to quit and they're going to click off and then they, they don't want to see your videos. So yeah, be fun, be quit and done. And that's what I did in that series. And I started teaching something that I can do with my eyes closed, teaching a drum lesson that only need one drum, two hands, and they can do it even in a table or something. It was very easy. Those videos were short and I shot like 20 episodes in one take, but I gather all the information, planification is key, and then I record all those videos in one shot. I didn't cut anything. Press record, record all the videos, and at the end, I have 20 episodes. And I was like, wow, now I'm gonna have to edit and cut those videos. Took me three months maybe, but now I have material to start releasing one per week okay do not release many episodes or do not because this is for the long run so don't do three two a week start one a week this is a marathon this is for the long run this is going to be your lifestyle if you want to do youtube and you want to do it right and you want to later maybe get some money, then you have to think that this is going to be for the long run. This is a marathon. This is going to take, <laughs> this is the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. I think this is being pretty hard coming with a video idea every week and the video that has to be good. The people can engage, like, and comment. It's not easy to do period plus your own life, you know, your work. And this is a side hustle. So yeah, it take a lot. Moving forward in YouTube, you will need to learn how to edit and cut your videos because you want to all the bad part or the wanted part. You need to cut those out because you want to engage the people. If people see that, they're going to click off. Okay. So yeah, in YouTube, you need to learn basic uh, video editing, which is just take the eraser, take the scissor and cut those parts, put it together, align, and then export the video. And there's flick platform for videos for Mac or for Windows. I use DaVinci Resolve 16, which is again free. But you need to have a good computer and I uh, uh, strongly encourage you to have a big computer, a desktop. You can do it in a laptop, but uh, that program is heavy. So it will, it will in, in the, in the screen is small. So 
better to have a big screen for better results. One thing of about YouTube, you're gonna start slow, very slow. <laughs> Sometimes zero one view after you spend three or more hours in one video. It's crazy hard like that because no one will discover you. Because remember, you don't have subscriber, you don't have fan, even if you put a public, because you don't have that, then YouTube is not gonna give your video to anyone. Unless those videos have view, subscribers, like, and start to ranking in places when people search, you know, how to play guitar, if, if my how to play guitar is in search 100 or something, because no one will see it. Need to be in search like 30 or 20 or, you know, closer to some of the people see it. But little by little, you work and it's gonna start being part of your routine and your life and don't see the view, don't see the subscriber, don't see anything of that because uh, that doesn't matter at the moment. You are practicing, you are getting uh, in the routine of the lifestyle that this take. Little by little, I was testing a couple of a section, doing blog, because doing blog is good, you know, getting the camera, start talking to the camera, is not that hard and you have more material to share with your people. I started to do some blog and behind the scene of my, one of my songs. But that time, it was March 2018, and I released my first song, singing for first time. I was so excited. The, the name of the song, you can Google, is The Lord Is My Rock. It was my first singing, and my first singles for me, uh, singing. People were asking me, like from 2008 or more, can you have a song that you are singing? And I was not ready by that time. I was learning all about the studio, how to mix, how to record. It was not until 2018 that I was now finally ready to release my songs in Spotify, iTunes, and to the public. Um, I have been released before, but it was on instrumental guitar and instrumental piano, nothing about singing. I was very excited. I was starting YouTube that year, 2018, and I was then doing my songs. So at the same time, I said like, I'm doing this song. Let's do then some behind the scenes footage video so people can see how I'm doing with this. So then I was doing my songs a video, my blog, my drumming, and getting some routine with that. I also did some karaoke music to start testing. You have to do some testing in this to see what is working, what is not working, what do you like, what you don't like, and then you have a couple of buckets. So I have bucket of my music, my blog, karaoke, behind the scene, and so on. By five months on, I have only 15 subscribers. My videos get five to 20 views for most or less, sometimes one or zero. <laughs> it was very discouraging. That's why this is for the long run. Should I continue that? I was asking myself. This is, it is worthy all of my time. When I did my second song, start sharing again, getting more feedback getting a little bit more of response because by now I have like maybe 25 subscribers or something. And this time I discovered that I started to share my stuff with my friends one by one. I was sending a special message to them. Hey, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. This is my new material, my new drum uh, beat or my new song or my new blog. Tell me what you think. I'm just testing the water. And they were seeing the video and they were commenting back, oh, I like this, change this, or do that. And by doing that, I received feedback. They can see now my videos. Those videos start to get momentum in YouTube. And then the same YouTube, seeing that this now can be seen by other people, start the promoting to other people that could benefit from that video. That's one thing that I discovered. 
promoting. Without that, then it's not going to do anything. Then you need to do the marketing. You know, I didn't know that, that because I am not a business, uh, but now I have to learn all, all, all about that and start uh, how to write compelling, you know, uh, message to my friends so they can uh, support me. When you're starting out, make your series and reach to your friends, your, to your family and ask them, uh, do you like it? And please, can you subscribe? Uh, and don't be afraid to, to ask, okay? If you're delivering value, yeah, it's fine. So I'm gonna cut it uh, for part one here. Watch part two to uh, see the end. So please, if you like it, smash the like, subscribe, hit the bell for uh, the notification, and see you next time. Uh, so if you like it, please. <laughs> God. Okay, so this is now for uh, for. Uh.